hey this is galan so in this video we will see how to host our backend project how to deploy that on the virtual we will follow something like we will create a repository then git repository and then use that repository to host our project whenever we will change something on that repository then it will get changed on the virtual also so for this i have created one dummy project in which our uh, index file is there some files and node modules is there if i do npm start as you can see on the package of json start command is there so it will tell us that yes on the local host 4000 our this project is running if i go to that then by default it will show us hey there i'm ready so this is uh, on the default url if i go to the home then it will save us that yes you are at the home route if i do home on the slash home route you are at home route okay so this is something working so this is right now deployed at the local our local host now we are going to deploy that on the virtual so before that we are going to push the our code to the github okay one thing you will have to do for virtual you will have to create one uh, file name virtual.json and inside that you are going to mention that yes uh, which file uh, it will have to run like in this case index.js is there you can see here and here also i will have to mention index.js save that one and now we will create the github repository so go to the github if you don't have account then you can or create one account you can follow the github tutorial from the i button click on new it will create a new repository give the name here as youtube test i'm giving here whatever you would like to do you can give just click on create repository it will tell us something like uh, we have to execute to push the code and uh, i will follow along create the readme file then initialize our repository then uh, add this readme file and uh, git commit before that i will uh, change the branch name as main if i do git branch then this will be git branch okay uh, right now we have not pushed so it will not search branch okay we will add the remote url origin and then we will push before pushing i even uh, want to say something like uh, I, I want to push this one code but right now this is also pushing the node module so you can see 533 files are there which i don't want to push for that you can create one dot git ignore so in inside that you can mention node slash modules so when you will save that one then you can see here it will only show us yes you are going to push the seven files only ignoring the node modules Similarly, you can ignore the env files also. Env is something like environment variable in which you give the port number and database URLs are there, which you don't want to show to the public. Okay. So uh, now I want to uh, push that changes. I will uh, stash all the changes. I will do git add dot means stashing all. Then git commit and means uh, something messes your message message of code or whatever message you would like to give then git push origin main this is the main branch i want to i'm going to push so all our code will be there on the git repository you can see if you will refresh you can see all the codes are present there whatever code you had in your github repository this uh, folder okay now in the virtual go to the virtual.com if you don't have an account then create one and uh, on the if go to the home then click on add new then project or configure the github repository here uh, you will have you will get an option of like uh, configure the github click on that and uh, authorize not a big deal just a simple task then this is the project youtube test i'm going to use so you can see here it is displaying i will import that one and uh, here is uh, it is asking that what is the project name so my by default name is this you can change this also but i'm going to keep the same okay now this is the root directory what is this so this is like where we are going to run you can see uh, in your case if you have one folder inside that you have two folder backend and frontend so if you want to deploy backend then simply click on edit and both the folders will be get displayed here select the backend from here and click on continue okay but right now i have to, i don't have such a structure so i'm going to keep it as same now you will have to configure the configure the environment variables environment variables is like in the env file whatever uh, 
key values are there you will have to push on the in this environment variable in the key port and in the value as 4000 click on add then in the database url and the value as this one this is a, a dummy url don't try this this one won't work uh, i just kept for it for the tutorial click on add and click on now deploy it will start means deploying our project and uh, like this is a youtube test this will be the our default url and you can see this is building load then deploying then assignment <coughs> okay so you can see uh, this has our project has been deployed if you will go to the click on this url then you can see that yeah and if i go to the home route then you are at home route similar to our local host so you can write the all your endpoints code here and you can whatever changes you will do it will immediately get pushed to the github and it will immediately get this uh, configured here automatically deployment will get happen continuous integration continuous deployment it will it will be there so this is your now your url you can also test this one using the postman like if i do this then if i will do a send then you can see you are at home route and uh, by default if i do a get request then yeah i am ready so this is how, how our we can host our backend url backend project to the virtual so for more such videos you can follow the easy logic channel thank you